Hi everyone, this is a brand new out of box failure of a Toro model 21464. The problem is the engine. The engine has an electric start. Electric starter is right here. And I put this machine together the other day and tested it. And I pushed the button right here, held down this handle, I mean. Started, pushed the button, and after three starts, it blew the fuse. The fuse is inside this box. It came with a spare fuse, so I changed the fuse, put in another fuse, started it four or five times, and click, 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 blew the fuse. So, the problem is not the fuse, obviously, and it's not the pull starter because when it goes click, 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 actually, what I did, I took the fuse out and I put a jumper in to replace the fuse with a solid wire. So there's no way it would blow. And when it, I push this button a few times, click, click, and it seems like it locked somehow. It seized or hit something and locked. The starter would not turn and blew the fuse. So every time it clicked, it would have blown the fuse. But since I put in a jumper, it didn't blow out, obviously. But it's easy to turn over. Very easy to turn over. So it's not the engine being stuck. It's a gear not meshing properly with the flywheel. Okay, so what I'm going to do today is try and figure out what's going on first. Then I'm going to try and fix it. I don't want to bring it back. It's brand new. I really like it uh, because I have one. Here's mine. It's like 15 years old. Personal pace, electric start. The only problems I have with these gears in the wheel. I got them fixed. Uh, one of the videos on YouTube told me how to fix it. I put some spacers in. But anyway, mine still works great and it's 15, 16 years old. And that's why we got another one for my father-in-law. He's 92 and personal pace is perfect and electric starts even better. But it's no good if it doesn't start. Then I'm going to try and see where the gears are meshing in the starter to see what's going on. Then I'm going to take the starter out if I have to. But if I can't fix it, I'm bringing it back anyway. I already told them I'm returning it for my money back if I can't fix it. But I want to fix it. Okay, I took the top cover off. And there's a clip. You have to move the, uh, move the label back a little bit there. And push with your finger and get it out. And here's the starter motor and how it engages with the flywheel. Now I'm not sure how deep I want to go. To have a look at this so I'll have to look at it and see if I want to take all this off or not or just try and take the starter out and see what's going on okay let's have a look okay I don't want don't know if I want to take all that top part off yet it's going to try and figure out what's going on here I took the spark plug out and removed the wire obviously I'm going to turn it over and show you exactly what it sounds like okay it won't start okay here it is okay so it's not cutting out when I get the spark plug out. Okay, spark plug's back in. Let's see if the extra compression makes a difference. Nope. Okay, I hooked the spark plug back up. Now it's gonna start when I push the button. First try. There, see, it's locked. Okay, it started after the third try. Okay, here goes. There, see again? There, see? Every time you hear that, that's a fuse going. Lower this starter out to see if I can see anything wrong in there. There's only two bolts holding it. One here, and there's the other one. One right there, and one in here. See if I can get them out. Okay, that was easy. Two screws and it's out. Looks like there's a flywheel right here. Uh, I can probably show a little bit of turning as I pull the ripcord. See? There. But let's see what's going on in here now. I'm going to try and activate that starter a few times just by pushing the hand down and push the starter. See that? Okay, here we go. I'll zoom in. It works perfect every time. So what's going on? Okay, I took the top off the starter motor and looking at the gears, I took the clip off to the C-clip on top of that, and I noticed there is some sort of irregularity on this gear. There's a bump there which could cause this gear to stick when it's up in place to activate the flywheel. So I'm going to file that off and put a bit of lubrication on it and put it back together and see if it works. Okay, I filed those nubs off. There's two little nubs, one on each side. Um, there's one there. You can see what's left of it. 
It's probably part of the molding process and they weren't completely filed off. They're a bit rough. So this gear was sticking up there in the wrong place and when you went to activate it and uh, it would actually stick and blow the fuse. So let's uh, lubricate these, put it back together and see how it works. Now, the reason I'm doing this, like I said, is I have one for so many years and it works great. So let's fix this problem. Okay, I got it all back together. Now let's put it back in to the electrical connection and see if it works. Okay, here it goes. Perfect. It's going out and it's retreating like it's always did before. But that's not going to be the, uh, the test. The test is going to be when I put it in the machine. Okay, let's hook it back up. Okay, I put the spark plug back on. Both screws are secure. It's all set to go. Let's give it a try. Push the handle down. There it goes. Perfect. Perfect. Nope. See, that didn't do anything. Well, I cannot figure it out. I putting it back together. I'll decide whether I'm going to keep it or not. Um, it only seems to break down or seize up or stick when it's. I tried it without the spark plug and with the spark plug wire off, but it only acts up when I when I multiple try and restart it. See, just like it there. Every one of those clicks is a fuse blower. Now, see what I mean? And that's why it's a compression stroke that I won't turn it over on. Uh, there's only a compression, only one compression stroke in the one cylinder engine, but I don't know what it is. Okay, this is the end of the video. I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to keep it or bring it back. Can I live with the fact that it's not going to blow the fuse anymore? I've got to put a solid piece of wire in there, an 18 gauge wire, so that's not going to pop. And the amount of times you push the starter, you'd have to hold it down overheat. It's not going to happen either. So we'll see if I turn, return it or not. I'll put it in the comment section if I do. But until then, good luck. This is ridiculous. This is a brand new machine. Should not be doing that. I'm not the only one having the problem. I looked on the internet. There's more people than me. I, as a matter of fact, when I called the report that they just returned one the same day to the same store the exact same model for blowing fuses and people only, you only get two fuses that's it then you're out and it shouldn't blow anyway this should not it seems like it uh, if you try to start it in, in succession succession one after the other it stops on a compression stroke and it well, like I said there's only one cylinder it shouldn't matter if you hold the fuse if you hold the start button on it'll work its way around and get it started eventually or you can just pull the rip cord and start it other than that um, yeah, uh, it's ridiculous. Anyway, thanks for watching.